Hello guys, this is Pap from Pap back at it again and today we finally have the first, I think the first of many other ones, uh, version of the Blazing uh, Phoenix, um, actually Gearfrit, Blazing Phoenix Gearfrit, I mean I combined the name of the Extractor deck and of the Archetype actually. And this is the pure version, I think this is the best one you can play if you wanna have um, like a pure version with no hybrid stuff, like no heroes, no other stuff in it. Uh, and I don't know if any of you suggested uh, this card already to me, but um, I didn't. Maybe I didn't take in, it, it into account. But expandable day was the answer to make this thing work. So before jumping right into it, guys, just a quick reminder, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe, I really appreciate it, and it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So, of course, with this boy, actually not of course, because I could have used uh, the other two guys, the other two versions of Joy, but still, this is the pure Phoenix. So, um, so what we know is that we have to use lands, right? So we have to use lands because in a meta full of Urkus that can draw two cards on command, and... Uh, full of these back rows that are literally everywhere actually all the duels that I lost was because my opponent sat three and I only had one lens that was my only um, uh, my only problem so of course we need if you have the pure version you need the triple immortal phoenix care fit a actually a negator but also a non-targeting removal because this guy when attack when he attacks he can actually keep a face up monster on the field to himself and the good thing is that you can choose any monster, uh, either one you're attacking or not, but even your own monster. So if somehow you need a boost, you can actually target your own monster. And that's pretty cool, honestly. Uh, free special summon thanks to the skill, then only one gear for it. I'm not sh even not sure about this one. I'm playing one, but I'm not sure how good it could be. I mean, somehow it could be good if you can have the combo with the Sublimation Knight. But usually, if you do not have the uh, Immortal Phoenix Gear Feed with the Sublimation Knight, you're always gonna equip the Roland. Why Roland? Because of course you wanna have Roland in the graveyard during the end phase in order to uh, take advantage from his effect and grab a Fire Warrior type monster from the dark. So it's your searcher, of course. And ideally, you want to start with any of these three cards, one, two, or three, and you're good to go. Because if you start with this, you have the negation. If you start with this, you can keep the Rolands, and you're chilling. While instead, if you start with this, you can actually normal summon him, go for Link Kuribo right here, and have this guy in the graveyard doing the hand phase to activate its effect. Uh, then we have the Veil, not only because it can be added, actually it's a Fire Warrior type, but as you can see we already have 10 Fire Warrior type monsters on our deck, so this is not used to fulfill the requirement of the skill, but just because it is, it can be added actually with Roland, it can be added with the reinforcement of the army, so it's a very nice uh, uh, defensive card that can help you draw more, and also it synergizes very well with the expandable day. So if you survive the turn, thanks to the body box reveal, you can actually use expandable day to trigger this, pop a card, and draw another one. So pretty nice. Also, this can help the Rolands going to the graveyard, even if equipped to not to the sublimation knight. Um, I know this, of course, will not trigger the effect of Sublimation Knight, but who cares? If your opponent knows how to play, he will surely not destroy this in order not to activate its effect. So you definitely want to trigger it with your expandable day and your chillin'. Um, then, of course, we have the triple lands. It's like a mandatory thing nowadays. Uh, this card is just too important with all those cracked down ice dragon priests and book of moon out there. You really cannot do anything without this. So most of the times, Expendable Day can make you happy even if he lets you draw into the Forbidden Lands. For the extra deck part instead, guys, um, apart from the mandatory Link Uribo that actually um, opens up to the Roland's effect during the end phase of your turn, you really do not need that much stuff. Maybe you're gonna be able to use the Nightmare Phoenix every once in a while. Uh, just to pop some back rows, but then I've put in some level 3 stuff, but I'm, you know, some generic link uh, to pop stuff and, you know, Talker. 
but really nothing special. I mean, this could be useful just in case you use the effect of Veil and you draw another one. You need to go into the attack mode, you know, you need to attack, you can go into this. This is for some cheese play, but it never happened because, of course, clearly, uh, thanks to Expendable Day, you're never gonna have the, a lot of these guys on the field. So, that's so the extra deck, apart from Link Rebo, nothing is really necessary. Uh, of course, if you prefer, you can just play a couple of Phoenix Griffith level 8 and introduce in this the package of level 8, the, the, the Galaxy Ice package, even though you're really never gonna do that that much. So that's it guys for the explanation, let's enjoy the replays against the Metadex and uh, actually let's jump right into them. Here we go my boys, first replay against Yudo, a third win in a row, let's see what we have, Raging Pendulum, of course, it's full of Raging Pendulum and Orcus and it will be until the ban list will be applied, actually I'm not sure that after the ban list the thing is gonna be changed, like maybe less uh, limited, G limited to back rows, but still. So we have actually a Raging Pendulum with triple set, my nightmare. And we have the Phoenix to begin with, luckily for us we have a Lance, but would it be enough? He started with the Typhoon uh, to pop the, uh, the Salamandra, but Silver shouldn't because we have the Roland and then the device, but we had luckily the Lance to save our boy. Again, Lance best card, then the Cyclone, to pop that and in the damage staff I just equipped it with Roland uh, maybe I should have waited but still I'm chilling and now he's got the Dragon Pulse Magician plus the Dragon Pit Raging Pendulum and now he can just pop my boy because he can use the Dragon Pulse so he had everything he needed to pop my boy then Pendulum Summon into of course his odd eyes to inflict some damage but guess what we have the veil but roll on the end phase will activate its effect to grab another phoenix so at this point there's really nothing he could do uh, another lens coming to have and actually can be useful because um, it allows us uh, it allows us to have lethal and that's how you do my boys just lance all the lethal of course we could have um, uh, stealed or could have stolen the odd ice um, dragon but uh, we had little for this, so in case of uh, no lands, we would have just stole the uh, all dice pendulum dragon and wait for next turn when we would have had actual indication. So, really, the 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 duel was already set. That's how you do, my boys. There you go. Second duel, my boys, interrupting a win streak, and we are on the fourth win in a row against Hugo, of course, Speedroid, they were just heated from the ban list. I mean, of course, we're playing not with the ban list applied, because the ban list will be applied on the 28th, if I'm not wrong, so still a couple of weeks ahead. Uh, we have the Sublimation Knight to begin with, with the Roland. Uh, then the skill to summon our Phoenix, pretty nice. And uh, we have also a Roland uh, in the hand, so we're chilling. We have a couple of um, Equip Spell and an Expandable Day. So he's got the speed droid, the turret up to begin with, of course we have to negate that guys. Sending the Roland in order to have the negation ensured during the end phase, then clearing the celebration. Then then Daiko took from the graveyard to summon the uh, three high dice and then the car turbo, but as soon as he summoned the yo-yo, bad move actually, because now we know that we have to target the yo-yo, right? Because he, he's the only known tuner, so we can just expandable day with the sublimation knight, get a nice draw, and also in the end phase, Roland is coming with the effect. Another Phoenix Gear for it, so we can just use Sublimation Knight to have a quick uh, in a keep spell to banish then for the summon of another Immortal Phoenix. We can just attack and then we went with the effect of Gear Fit because we do not want the three high dice to touch the graveyard, otherwise it can negate an effect. So we stole that and then we went for lethal thanks to Roland Needs Boost. That's how you do it my boys, there you go. Third duel, my boys, Gandora Orchest uh, to face. It's us to go first, and luckily we have the Immortal Phoenix, but we also have the Expandable Day, so we're kind of chilling. So we got the, the Kirfried, as you can see, we got the Ekip, and then the Sublimation Knight. Actually, I capped the Forbidden Lance in hand because you know that uh, if there's one thing that Gandora Orchest do not play is back rows. So actually, Lance is 
useless right now. So yeah, it actually has a very nice hand because yes, the Gandora plus the two Orcus cards that he wants to have in the graveyard, he just discarded those. So as soon as he summoned him, um, I just popped it, just not only for the its effect, but also because I didn't want him to have a couple of monsters in order to, for him to be able to go through the through his whole combo. But then he just has the double monster, so he already can go into his full combo. At this point, we just need to save the negation of gear for the Girsu in order to avoid the gear free to be sent to the greater with the effect of the Girsu. So he's got the Galatea, of course, effect to grab the not the part of Greed this time, but the orchestrated Babel. And then he's got the Girsu coming. And we had, we were forced to negate that so he cannot send us to the graveyard and he had to detach to avoid destruction. Uh, but he's not done yet, he's got the skeleton with Galatea, then of course the orchestrator that can use its effect to send my uh, Phoenix Gear into the graveyard anyway. So uh, it's got again the skill to grab another Gandura that he cannot summon this time. So he can also he can he can cannot attack because use the effect of Lord Girsu in the end phase. The Roland gets us another Immortal Phoenix, so we're actually pretty good right now. Another lens, because of course when we draw a couple of lands, when our opponent does not play back, right? So I tried this thing, it was not actually maybe a good thing. I tried to lens this guy in order to not be to to have him not be able to activate its effect as a quick effect, but I'm not sure it works honestly. So um, he's got the uh, skeleton in the graveyard, then sublimation knight for the Roland at this point. Be afraid to summon. Uh, I first take this in order to be to already have an equip spell when the gear free touches the field, that's the reason, then we attacked and we stole that, because we do not want this to be in the graveyard, as soon as he wants to summon the gear, so we just negate the skeleton, so we can attack and we are chilling. Roland in the end phase grabs an end trap, guys, so if anything happens, we're chilling and he cannot finish us. It just stopped there, we got the normal gear fit, but it's got Kydroid, the first effect is fine, but the second one is just negated by my boy, so that's how you do it, my boys, there you go, so, very nice this, um, very nice duo. Here we go, my boys, fourth duel, this time we're going second against... Uh, Rage Raptors, let's see what he has. He's gonna do tons of stuff, guys. That's why I'm gonna um, speed things up just to show you basically the end board that he had and that we had to face and that we actually made to uh, to break. So he's got all this stuff. He started with that, then Raid Raptors Rising to look for the rank up magic spell. So he went to first with the Evil Soul. I guess not done yet because he's got the String of Lanius. So basically, he ends up with a boy that can flip down a couple of special summons, the Nightmare, and a negation of a special summon with Evil Soul Soldier. So, very bad. This, is, this has nothing for now, so we're chilling. So, we have basically everything we need. It's got the Lancia, the Lancia as well to uh, avoid me banishing anything. So, we can't banish anything, but luckily for us, there is not, nothing we um, we care of. So, Sublimation Knight to begin with, but this time I kept it with Gear Fit because you know what? The Sublimation Knight plus the Lance is exactly 1800. So, we get both the um, the thing that we wanted to get rid of Solda and negate special summon plus sublimation knight destroy that allows to activate its effect to special summon the gear free and get rid of the rage raptor now we had the expandable day so for next one we can just pop that but he skipped so keep in mind we had the expandable day we still had the veil so if he had something crazy he could have not finished us because we had the veil and then the mortal phoenix ready in our hand for next turn that's how you do it my boys there you go Last but not least, we have Raging Pendulum again with Yudo. So it's us to go first. We have a couple of batting box reveal that uh, make uh, feel uh, make us feel safe. Uh, we have the Gear Freight and we have the Roland. But I'm not using the Roland because there's no point here, right? We want to wait for him just in case he has a Cyclone. Then in his turn we use the Roland, so we still have a negation. And that's exactly what happens. So if you have the Roland, actually you do not have nothing else. 
just keep that in your hand. He's got Pendulum Call to grab a couple of guys, then you went with the uh, Of Dragon Magician, the Dragon Pit Magician, actually no cycling for now, so I, maybe I didn't remember correctly. So he's got uh, the skill, of course, Pendulum Effect to get back to his hand, the Wisdom Eye Magician, then the Pendulum Summon, of course, we can't do nothing, we can just wait. He's got a, a 3 monsters plus Recycler. So this was Raging Arcus. Dear free to negate that I don't want the Arcus to come in into this board, right? So but so he now thinks he has the win because he can go into Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon and then into the All Dice Raging Dragon, right? First he effective Dark Rebellion, that's fine. Then he went with All Dice Raging Dragon. I can't negate that, of course, so he can just uh, pop everything. I used Roland, I chain it, because I want him to be in the graveyard, so that I can grab another Immortal Phoenix with the end phase. So that's why we make that be popped. Now he attacks, yes, the orchestrated bubble, but no Arcus monsters right here, as you can see, so we're chilling. Another monster right here, he attacks, but you know what, we just have the veil. Veil, and we are chilling, we actually end up taking no damage because of two Veil, and now in the end phase, Roland gets us another Immortal Phoenix, so we're chilling, and now Expandable Day, uh, that is actually needed right now, we have the special summon, Phoenix is here, you can just attack the Wisdom Eye and suck up the uh, All Dice Raging Dragon, so we're chilling, now it's got the draw, and as soon as he activates the effect of Off Dragon, we chain the Expandable Day, tributing the uh, Battling box to build to pop it and he just scoops. That's how you do it, my boys. There you go. So in the end, guys, Expandable Day is the card that makes you have uh, a little bit more of interruption. And it's good because uh, basically your normal summon is not needed because the, the real monster you want to have on the field, you want to keep on the field, is your Immortal Phoenix. It's a special summon. So you can use your normal summon to uh, as a tribute for the Expandable Day that actually makes you have an interruption plus a draw, guys. And the draw is really important because you can save the day not only by make you, making you draw, Draw, a, uh, draw the um, not immortal phoenix but just to draw some end drops like the body box reveal to help you survive the turn so guys that was all for today's video stay tuned for a more hybrid version it was just a pure version that i wanted to make as first and then we're gonna try some crazy stuff uh let's hope to make some very cheesy spicy stuff on the channel um that was all thanks a lot for watching and as always see you in the next one